The Cedar Falls High School Theater Program is hard at work creating their set for their upcoming spring play, Shrek. We talked to Nicasio and Julia about the process of designing a set for a play. Yeah, then, sketch it out as minimalist as you can go. And then get them entrance and just build it yeah. and see how it works. Yeah, probably, probably what is necessary, but also like what, how you can use creativity. Like Fiona's Tower, um, it's a 360 set piece, so like yeah. the front of it is used for one part and the back of it's used for another. And a lot of times pieces will be like that, where like maybe they'll have something in the front, and you flip it around, it turns into an entirely new set, or you take off a piece. Yeah, so like, I know with the porch, we kind of use that for different yep, circumstances. Absolutely, uh, in the case of the trees. They also talked about the process of lighting up the stage. Blocking, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Mostly where you want the audience to be looking and where you want their focus which, to be. Which is mostly the programming, but you've not got to know the blocking to set up lights so you, mm -hmm. you can program those Absolutely. lights. Absolutely. And so. if there's any set pieces that need to be seen, that's yeah. a big part of it too. Whether they're static or moving around, uh, that changes up everything. <laughs> this has been Wes Skeeta, Addison Pace, and Tyler Campbell reporting for the Tiger Highline Online.